Working with my old friend Nick from Slipknot, who I interviewed in 2000 in Nuremberg, Germany. And I interviewed him without the mask. It's one of the few people to interview on film a member of Slipknot without the costume. But that's all relationship, man. That's getting to know artists and having them trust you. For instance, young artists. Artists that have not yet gotten to the point where they can put on masks and go out on tour. This is Miss Randall. Miss Randall's in a band called Rusty Eye. Rusty Eye. Rusty Eye from Hollywood, California. She's originally from Mexico City. She has a really sexy Latin accent. She's gonna tell you why she plays the drums and why she loves rock and roll. Oh, I, I love rock and roll since I was 11 years old and I guess the first thing that turned me into rock was, you know, Molly Crew, Guns N' Roses and it was just like the energy that those bands had is something that really called me and my dad is actually originally from LA so I figured what the hell I'm gonna move here and rock um, but yeah Rusty Eye was founded in 1995 and I joined in, 19, in 2002 and we moved out here in 2004 and we've been rocking out with artists like Doro or Catatonia Doro spell. Pesh Doro Pesh who I put yeah. on the cover of RIP magazine in 1989, I think, wow. with Lita Ford together. Another rocket chick. I was using a little bit of what I learned from Hustler Magazine that sex sells. And they were the only real women playing hard rock music, credibly, who, who were selling records and Vixen. But I figured, why not? And it was one of the biggest selling issues of the year. So here it is, cut art of the cut out of the fabric of metal chick drummer let me see your muscles muscular yeah. who are your drumming heroes ah uh, well uh, of course uh, the first drummer that got me into drumming was Neil Peart he is the technique the taste he has and I really like the technicality the prog rock drummers mainly you know I'm a prog rocker I saw the original Emerson Lake of Palm no way. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's when, that was the tour, 1974, Brain Salad Surgery Tour, where Carl Palmer had the had the twirling drum kit it, before Tommy Lee ever and imagined. Before Kiss and everything. Before all of them. Oh, wow. Carl Palmer had the gyrating drum kit, that which was sick. quite extraordinary for the 70s. Yeah. Yeah, and Alan White, I just watched him play last night from Yes. He was in the lobby drumming. Oh, I didn't see him. No. Yeah. So, that's, Neil that's Peart, another, Neil Peart. Neil but, Peart, of course. Uh, yeah. I don't know. There's, I, I really like a lot of drummers. I wouldn't, you know, name one in particular. I like Tempesta. I like uh, Paul Bostov. I just like people that play with, with I don't know, punch and, and unpretentiousness. I mean, of course, a drummer of Dream Theater is, like, awesome. And I... I just, to me, rock is just natural. That's how you, it comes out. And then I sing as well. So I, a singing drummer, singing like drummer. Don Henley <laughs> and Dave and Clark. That's Peter before your time. Peter Chris, of course. Um, yeah. I, 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 there's not a lot of There aren't a lot drummers. of singing drummers because <laughs> it's like walking and chewing gum at the same time. It takes real, like, dexterity. concentration and dexterity. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's about uh, endurance and like uh, building your your diaphragm. And I used to sing it. your diaphragm? It's you can punch. It's Not good. Bad. <laughs> it's got a little bow. You got something in there? No, no, no. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> you do but, like? Um, do, do you have like a yogic discipline or workout I, discipline? Yeah, I used to do uh, taekwondo and. I ain't gonna be messing with this young thing tonight. No, I don't know. <laughs> nope. But um, uh, yeah, fun. Uh, it's really fun to do. Play drums. I also, I'm also an audio engineer. From I graduated from Musicians Institute, and that's another add-on that really helps me. Renaissance woman. Yeah, I want to do it all. You know, I can't wait. To do it all, first you have to do it, one thing. One thing Good. first. Yeah, to do it all, it's like you got to walk before you run. Exactly. I, uh, that's the problem with a lot of young artists is they are full of so much fire and passion that they want to get to the finish line before they've taken their first steps. Exactly. It takes a lot of discipline to, to 
get there. there. Yeah. It, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. That's that's uh, very good. That's now, do you have a record? Do you have anything? Oh yes, I do. Uh, well, we actually have a fifth release on in the works. I think on the works. In the uh, works. In the works. Whatever. I always get that confused. Um, anyways, uh, the last album we did was in 2006. It's called uh, Stendhal Syndrome. Okay. And that's uh, Nick and homage of uh, Dario Argento. It's one of we're very yeah. horror influenced. We What's love your MySpace page so the oh. Sea Rock people can go there yes, and of see that you're authentic and you're not I one of real. these posers that's just trying to become a star and get laid. Oh no no, no. <laughs> oh, that's not what it's about. Uh, well, uh, the band's MySpace is myspace.com/rustyeye, as it sounds. Rusty. There it is.